hey guys welcome back to my channel as you guys can tell by the title this is both a review of my 2022 goals and also just sharing with you guys some 2023 goals that i've set i don't know why i'm doing this video at the start of q2 2023 but it's okay this whole channel is just my visual diary so it doesn't really matter when i do these things if you haven't set your goals already take this as the encouragement that you need to start thinking about what do you want to really use this year for what do you want to accomplish this year what do you have in your mind that you're saying nah 2023 can't end without me having done this and then do it so my first one was to pass my professional qualification and that's more of a goal that was embedded in the course that i was on that was done that's good this goal was the first goal that i didn't actually do anything about or the first goal that i just don't think i accomplished last year and that was to do with degree apprenticeship outreach i did some of it last year but i didn't do enough of it not for it to have much of an impact but yeah for it to have an impact a measurable impact right and um, probably because i was so busy which is fair enough so again when you hear me talking about my goals i don't seem particularly disheartened just because these things are bonuses they're not really do or die so if i'm talking about it in a light-hearted manner it's because i'm not taking it too 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 to heart you know what i mean my next point was just to grow closer to god in whatever way i could so at the time i was going to a family like local very like small church and there wasn't that many youth so it's quite difficult to be encouraged in the faith when there aren't like-minded people around you that are relatable especially in age but glory be to god there was someone there that was heading the youth ministry sometimes the youth ministry was just me and the youth pastor i'm very grateful to god for his life because he was kind of instrumental in me growing in my faith it really helped me to be consistent throughout so like go out of my way to read my word give me books like bible commentary i would read it like i'm not even a reader obviously i have to give him his accolades because i can't just say oh i worked on my relationship with god as it was by myself no i would definitely give him the accolade and obviously all glory to god because i feel like my heart has definitely been softened when it comes to the things of god my so. next goal was a financial goal mm, i'm trying to think of a roundabout way to say that i didn't meet the goal i came into the year and i just think one goal took over this goal the goal that took over this goal was traveling so when i say my financial goal i had a explicit figure that i wanted to have saved by the end of the year this goal did not take into account cost of living crisis let's start there that's another disclaimer so in 2022 i said i wanted to go on two holidays i went on five so obviously didn't meet my explicit target but again reflecting was all about are you happy with the outcome of what you've done right and when i reflected i was quite happy with how much i still managed to save and now i'm approaching my finances in a more net worth way at the end of the year i took into account my entire net worth by looking across all of my different financial accounts including my pension account and i actually met the goal did i really not meet the goal or did i actually meet the goal because i was really really happy with the times that i traveled last year my course was intense to the point that i just felt every single time that i traveled that i deserved it bro that first year they were trying to offer us i took every single chance that i got traveling for this event traveling for that event traveling a one raffle travel birthday travel any re reason that i could logically say i need to be out of here i went for those that don't know, I have a property management company and one of my goals was to secure a second property. This was before bill prices started increasing, so like the cost of energy started increasing. And in property management, it's the norm for the property manager to take over the bills in some deals. But then I also had an epiphany, even separate to everything that was happening, just on the fact that I don't feel like I need this company anymore because there was a reason that I started the company, which was to do with my program that I'm on now, my degree apprenticeship, and whether or not I would like the team that I'm on. So I was, I started it as more of a backup plan because I had like money saved from my gap year or whatever. I was like, okay, if I get put in like a tech team, for example, I don't really have a problem like doing the nine to five, but then it would just stop there. And I would then like put all of the rest of my time into the company, right? Now in a team that I enjoy, it's mentally challenging. And I really, really, really like it. That I can see myself there long term. I don't see a need for this company anymore, but it was a very exciting journey. And again, sometimes I do things just to see if I can do it. Like, and I could do my it. next goal was to be financially disciplined. And again, reflecting, I don't think I was. Not by the fact that I didn't meet my financial goal. For me, financial discipline is separate to me meeting my financial goal. Like if I was able to say, okay, there's certain things I'm not gonna buy, there's certain things I'm not gonna do, like I'm not gonna go on every holiday that comes my way. So I can save. Even if I didn't meet my goal in doing that, I would still say that I've met the financial discipline goal. I wasn't doing that in the first place. <laughs> so it's not just the fact that I didn't meet the financial goal that I put the explicit number. It's also the fact that I just wasn't really thinking, oh, I need to save money because everything that came to me was like, oh, let me treat myself like, oh, I'm so stressed. I need to do this. Oh my God, I'm so stressed. I want to do this. I want to go here. I want to go. Do you know what I mean? I think at the start of last year, I was still taking some nail clients and then I had the property and then I had my degree apprenticeship, which is like three things in one, let me tell you. So I definitely had a lot going on. It became very easy. Like I didn't even have to think twice about taking opportunities to relax and rest. And obviously those opportunities aren't free. And I felt like staying in the area or staying in the region where my obligations were 
doesn't like it just doesn't allow me to rest so it's either i leave that area where my obligations are or i render my obligations like i give them back to the owner and say i'm sorry i don't want to be able i don't want to do this anymore i don't want this on my plate so i've obviously been able to let go of some of those obligations now so now it's like i can be at home right i can be at home and have a calm head just maybe take a week off work and just stay at home for free even now i'm on block leave i've been able to stay at home for free and i feel so relaxed i feel like i'm on holiday like the obligations aren't as strenuous as they were last year and my last goal again it's a goal that i didn't actually accomplish to get my driver's license that did not happen why did i not achieve it let's do some reflection first of all let's start with the fact that i have have slash had no i still have i would say i still have severe driving anxiety i'm the type of person to stop in the middle of the road don't play with me don't let me out onto the streets in a vehicle because it's over for everybody when i'm driving like i'm so theoretical in terms of it. this is actually applies to everything i do i'm so theoretical when i learn something in a book or i learn how something's meant to be done if something doesn't happen according to the way that i've learned it to be done we're gonna have a problem so if i'm driving and you as a pedestrian you walk out onto the road I haven't registered that that's a possibility because that's not that's not how this is meant to go the road is full of vehicles so why are you coming out into the road if for example like you cut me off like i'm just gonna be thinking i i can't antic i can't anticipate you cutting me off that's not something i can expect do you know what i mean so it was just like a big palaver like learning how to drive learning how to like be used to the fact that there are real life hazards like people can act unpredictably they don't act rationally like you read in your finance textbooks like people are not rational they're just ugh, and they can do anything that they want so with driving you have to be okay with that so i've kind of come to be okay with that just for the sake of getting my license but i don't think i'll be driving much after that anyways and obviously because i don't plan to drive much it's not really like a I'm not really motivated to, to do it basically and the only reason I am doing it because I have a reason for everything that I do the only reason that I'm doing it is because my theory test expires in a couple of months so yeah hopefully I do that this year so when we come on to 2023 goals it's definitely going to be in, in there because my theory is expiring yeah I'm quite pleased with last year I think last year was definitely my best year 2023 because I know this video is going to be really long only a few goals to be fair not as many as 2022 because to be fair I, another disclaimer guys I'm only 20 and i know it's horrible to like compare myself to like people in uni and stuff but that's my alternative so i have to compare myself to the alternative of where i could be at this age right doing that comparison you're already doing well so that's what i tell myself every day so i don't need to die if things don't happen perfectly right now it's okay because i'm already doing well everything that is on here that i'm achieving or everything that i achieved last year and everything that i'm gonna achieve this year it's a bonus it's a bonus it's what i'm gonna glorify god for do you get it it's not gonna be a i must do this no because i'm already happy i'm already content okay that's another disclaimer just to say and that literally goes to everybody like times are hard cost of living crisis everything's hard like don't die this is not even the encouraging video that you guys probably expected to click on but still first goal obviously god again as i mentioned earlier i used to go to a small like family church and i recently moved churches hopefully i can be consistent in the new church it's not even hopefully because i have to be by god's grace next goal just a explicit number of what i want my net worth to be not how much i want to save or invest per se which you might be thinking might be the same but i'm also looking into credit cards for this year which you're like oh my god amanda you've been working for ages why haven't you used use a credit card da, da, da. guys one thing about me i don't like to do things because i can you know that's where you get into problems just doing things because you can or just doing things because other people are doing it that's where you get into serious issues to be fair i applied to um pay by credit they rejected me I haven't applied to credit something credit related since but to be fair when i checked my school i was like my school's all right like what are you guys anywho it's probably because i didn't have any history right so i've been working on that just getting history in different ways and then probably by the end of the year i don't know i'm gonna go for like a credit builder card with high apr just to like get the ball rolling with that so if i have now a credit card and if i have credit open then i'm gonna have liabilities right then my net worth wouldn't actually be how much i've saved and invested so that's why the net worth approach just makes a bit more sense third goal degree apprenticeship outreach again i've already done a bit of volunteering with work but on the side my tiktok is heavily like shifting to degree apprenticeship content i want my social media platforms my channel to have a point next goal financial discipline again i even put a figure at the end of this goal of the maximum salary that i should give myself 
I haven't met that goal. Some people because I'm saving to one holiday. However, life is to be lived. Life is like rice. Okay, sorry if you haven't seen that TikTok. I'm so sorry, but yeah, life is like rice. The next goal, get my driver's license. It's just something to do, like get out of the way. Next goal, to get my channel to 750 subscribers. If you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, why is that? Let's unpack. No, I'm joking. Obviously, that can only be done by consistently posting. So I'll definitely, definitely try. But you guys know, busy, busy girl. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot going on right now. It's too much, in fact. Yeah, coming to second year of my degree, the stakes are getting higher. Obviously, I post a bit more, like I'll say, once every two weeks or once a week on my TikTok. So, so go and follow me on TikTok if you haven't. But with my YouTube, I will really try my best. But subscribe, it motivates me to keep going. By the way, if you're going to message me for advice on degree apprenticeships, please comment on my YouTube because I, that's the only thing I check every day. My notifications for my socials are off. You can email as well. Some people have been sending me emails. I check my emails every day as well and my last goal not last in terms of order or rank or you know how much i really care about this goal just it's just last it's my health i think just working with older people in my office has made me very health conscious so my first goal is just in terms of overall fitness i don't like the gym but classes start going to pilates at the gym in my office trying to get a bit more consistent with that just tone my body pilates is about whole body as well so it's not just about toning your abs like people think it is also on the health thing i want to start horse riding so as soon as i've done with these stupid driving lessons that are taking up 100 pound a week i'm tired as soon as i'm done with these driving lessons that is just drinking my money every week i want to start horse riding lessons i've been on the waiting list for um a riding school close to me which i was very surprised when i came back from one of my trips last year and I checked riding schools in my area. I was actually surprised that there's actually some in London. That's crazy. I want to try and learn how to probably trot by the end of the year. I think that will be my goal for the end of the um, year. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you made it this far, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Yeah, let me know if there's any goals you guys have for this year. It's already Q2, so let me know if you've actually already accomplished them and if you did what the goals were. And let me know how your 2022 went. Um, if you liked the year, if you didn't really like the year. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video.